Welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. In this video, we are talking about exploring the Arklatex. Do you like to overland? Do you like to disperse camp? Do you like to travel forest roads? Do you like riding gravel roads? Do you like to use your four-wheel drive? Are you looking for simpler roads for two-wheel drive? On our channel, we have what you're looking for. Working with Onyx Off-Road app, we have mapped several trails. These trails make up overland routes when joined together. There's several different routes that we have put together in the states of Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, and we are working on Oklahoma. More areas, more routes are coming soon. Not only mapped by us, but there are also other people turning in routes to Onyx Off-Road so you can make your overland routes exploring easier. On our channel, we have made videos for each trail, each overland route that we have put together, such as the Arkansas Overland Route Trailhawk Loop. Each section of this route is live on the Onyx Off-Road app. Each section has a video on our channel showing the road conditions and what you will experience as you travel this route. This is one of many routes that we have posted to the app and have videos on our channel. Check out the West Boundary route that goes across the western end of the Washita National Forest. How about the West to East route across the Washita National Forest? There's also a route as we leave Hot Springs going to Tabor Mountain Road. Again, these are sections that when joined together make a route. Almost all of these routes will have areas where you can disperse camp. Some have water crossings, mud holes, rock ledges. Some are completely smooth, easily done with a two-wheel drive. Some you will need ground clearance. If you watch the videos on our channel for each of these sections, you will know more about what you'll be traveling through. You will see what some of the camping areas look like. You'll see the gear that we take with us when we go. On the Onyx app itself, there's pictures of each trail. Different pictures as the trails traveled. Ratings of how hard the trail is. Information on altitude. On the app you can see where fires are at. You can see private property lines and more. With the Onyx Off-Road app and our videos combined for each trail, each route, this gives a lot of information for your planning when you're out exploring in the Arkansas. Not only will you find the videos of the different trail sections for overland routes that we have posted up to the Onyx Off-Road app, you will find videos on product reviews, things that we use when we're out dispersed camping that you might find of interest. There's maintenance jobs I've done on different vehicles, such as... Uh, rear axle bearing replacement on a Nissan Titan to a two inch lift on our 2021 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. Uh, tire upgrade on the same Trailhawk. There's videos that don't make any sense at all and some that I find pretty informative <laughs> if I do say so myself. But anyway, there's a lot of information on our channel. The channel's growing slowly, but it is growing. And I 
do feel like a lot of people just aren't getting our channel put in front of them and they do not realize that there's this kind of information on our channel and like i said when you tie our videos in with the onyx routes that's on their app it just makes things a lot easier you know what you're going to go do and although trails can change from weather and use you know you have an idea of what you're going to be running and i haven't ran anything that's extremely hard uh and within the Washita national forest area a lot of that is forest roads but there are some trails and if you go into other areas of arkansas you can find harder more difficult trails there's quite a few i would call harder trails uh, in oklahoma uh, there's some pretty muddy trails that we found that I haven't mapped yet that are in uh, northern louisiana when we did the arkansas overland route there were several of those dirt roads that were wet it had been raining when we did that route and some of those were pretty slippery so a uh, two-wheel drive would have definitely got stuck on them so you know it's not all easy trails that we've done although a lot of the videos that you'll see uh, that we shared do look pretty simple you know it's certain areas within the route that might have some harder places that you have to navigate through but most of the time there's actually a choice to avoid that area and go around so you know even though the route may be mapped on onyx if you do run upon a section that you just don't want to go through you can look at the onyx map and reroute it'll show all the forest roads so if there's a road close by that you can turn off on it'll be on the map and you can just detour around that area but they're a lot of fun we enjoy doing this and uh, we have a lot more plan to bring to our channel and to uh, share with onyx off-road and i chose to use onyx off-road because i don't use a bunch of layers I, I want something that's just simple and i can sit down on my pc at home i can plan routes out i can plan routes out from my uh, phone it just everything works simple for me they've done a lot of upgrades to the app and uh it just seems to be getting better and better as time goes by now i'm not knocking gaia or any of the other mapping apps this just happens to be the one that i prefer right now so hop online and download onyx off-road subscribe to our channel outdoors for adventure and you can match up the videos to the onyx off-road routes that you see that have been turned in by outdoors for adventure and you'll know exactly what to expect as you're out exploring these trails thanks for watching thanks for subscribing share with your friends and get outside and explore